going into map three right now. Dahang is currently 2-0 up in this. We're following him here on Lost World. And let's see, he has got to be buzzing right now. So many points to make for break out of Dahang. He's got Red Armor initially as well as Mega. He's going to be holding down this side of the map. We should be seeing Cypher at least be able to get away the, uh, the LGYA. But then, of course, after that first 20 seconds, there's always, is there going to be an initial trap? We'll be seeing uh, Red Armor come up here pretty soon. And is the Hank going to come back into mid to be ready for it? There wasn't a whole lot of pressure to uh, to keep that, yeah, there it is, to keep that rocket launcher into Hank's hands. He kind of gave that away. So now he kind of has to give up that uh, the next red, at least without having a clean fight. Oh, Cypher kind of hurting himself initially there. Right, I want to recall you to like, Years previous, where we saw Cypher to oh, hang. Hold on, we've got huge rockets coming up from the oh, hang. He's just about 19 health. He gets the last rocket, forces Cypher down into the red area, and that's going to keep him li alive for a little longer. He spots the Cypher's behind him, and he's going to be able to get himself a yellow armor. But Cypher this can't easily put pressure on to hang there either. He was out of rockets at that point. We might have seen some pressure as he was coming back into the plasma room, but uh, he just didn't have the weapons for it. Not without really getting overcommitted to the fight, and we've already seen that they're just not willing to do that. Should just get Mega Timer right now. I think he would have heard that. Dahang's still got a good position here. Ooh, that rocket jump. That almost was a really good trap opportunity for Dahang. Could have stuffed him into that corner. Cypher actually did go up the bounce pad. That's extremely risky considering Dahang could have set up a trap there. I don't think he was expecting Cypher to go up the bounce pad because <laughs> it was almost way too obvious. Like the Yomi stack is almost resetting here where they're, they're trying to second guess each other so much that they're... Uh, they're doing kind of the obvious things, knowing yeah. that he won't be there. Big jump over from oh, Cypher. Man. The hang in the back up. He's taking a massive rocket. And will Cypher choose to go onto items? Again, the splash damage is costing the hang an awful lot of health and armor. The hang's reacting now. The Cypher saw the hang eyeballing that 50 health. And uh, Cypher can just take what he wants to, knowing that the hang's going to be back over by the LG for a little bit of time. I think the hang's going to want to play this extremely slow. A lot of slow maps in this pool. A lot of time for the players to really you know, play mental chess against each other, but Cypher looks as if he was poised to push in. But he's not committing himself just yet. The Hank's going to be allowed to pick up another yellow armor, putting him on 100-100. He's now oh, Cypher's wow. uh, chased, and the Hank's got an exit route, and he's got enough health to withstand that. That's okay. It meant that Cypher could go in and just recover on the red armor. Mm -hmm. He could spend a little bit of his stack just to keep the Hank uh, reacting, essentially. Mega's been taken. Not sure if uh, the hang will be aware of that. Maybe he'll have a bit of a guess based on uh, Cypher's position. But otherwise... Initially, it looks very similar to the last map, but last map they were so even in terms of the decisions they were making, places they were able to move to. Uh, here, the hang's on the back leg. He's surviving, but Cypher... Oh, Definitely that was has so fortunate. He's got a nice little defensive rocket. He's going to run down to Red Room, but he wants to get to the 50 and escape. Can he get out of here scot free? And wow. because of his pace right now, I'm thinking that Lost World might actually be a faster map than, uh, than Fury Sights. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. The Hang has to run, and he's. I, I, I'm staggered that he could survive there. I'm staggered that he could recover from being so staggered himself. <laughs> I mean, he's, uh, he's having to run and he's getting potentially chased into items, which is going to make things a little bit more imbalanced, but things have, amazingly enough, kind of reset themselves again. No trap on the yellow. The hang's actually starting to look slightly better off than he was in the last Absolutely. Time. I mean, he, yeah. he hasn't had control in forever. He's just spent his last rocket. I guess that's where the 166 armor of Dahang has got through the worst of it. Past the storm. Now he just needs to hold on to as much of his stack as possible. He was on his back leg in, in the plaza room just about a minute ago. Mm -hmm. And again, like, there's yep. that line between respect and maybe not taking a, an opportunity. Oh, oh there we go. Position from Cypher. And what's the defensive rockets like from Dahang? He's got about 100 collective health and armor Jeez. left. What? And he's, he's defending so well, he's forcing. Cypher, you've got to go back to the items. We're approaching the halfway mark. Well, 0-0 zero, zero on Lost World doesn't surprise me too much. It doesn't at all, but this, this mental chess game is intensifying rapidly. But the Hang's LG is so potent. Cypher must have been on about 10 health before he picked up the Mega. And he's got basically a starting stack. In essence, the yep, Hang has yep. just switched the control round in favor of him. So although he's not in the lead, 
he is much closer to acquiring lead. And hopefully it doesn't go to his head too much. Yeah, that, that LG was awesome from him to hang. And it's, it's not the kind of position you expect to have an advantage, but Cypher, he was moving around fairly predictably. We've got even time in between the Mega and the Red right now to hang. By way of having a take in the center of the map, should be at least be able to take away one of them. Kind of forcing uh, Cypher to commit to this Mega. Or not oh, so what? much. He's going to be you. down below. <laughs> and he actually gets away with the Red. Nice mix up there by Cypher. Leaving Dehang kind of high and dry without a whole lot to get, and Cypher actually his maneuvering and his sneakiness under him. I mean, Dehang wasn't being subtle there. He was just spamming a ton of rockets, expecting Cypher to, to do the obvious thing. But now Cypher's been able to take away both items, and that limited amount of control that Dehang had might be slipping away. Yeah, it's kind of gone slightly back into Cypher's favor, but I would call it more uh, control has been contested at the moment. Exactly. Especially because Dehang still has a great stack of armor here. The next Mega would, will make the difference in terms of who actually has the control. But if Dehang can get into center map, then he could do some damage. He probably would have hoped for a slightly better uh, rocket. He only did seven damage with it, but he's defending excellently. Cypher just cannot get in. He has a stack that he wants to leverage, but Dehang's defensive rockets are just on point today. So three and a half minutes left here. I'm we're wondering still looking how, at zero to zero. how Cypher's feeling at the moment. The amount of force he's had to put into this game and Dehang's just not giving him anything to work with. LG this though, LG, this is a good position for Dehang at the moment. And he's moving around very yep. nicely. Cypher's not punishing him at all. And this is a big, big advantage for the American. Cypher taking a moment to go get that red. You can see that Dehang was again just asking him to chase him into that mega. He was ready for that fight. Cypher backing off. There's still... So very even-handed here, even if the stacks are, are sort of in Dehang's balance right now. I must remind you guys that... Oh, hold on. I'll remind you in a second. Ooh, yeah. Dehang is 2-0 up. One more. Yeah. Is that into the lava? Not, not quite, quite. Not quite. But Cypher's really weak. Dehang so is also Dehang. only at health 13 health. He's just going to escape. He can get out. Mega and Red are up. Is Cypher going to place a trap? There's no 50 no health pity. level. He's going to need the 225s back here, and by that time, Cypher might be able to come in and put pressure on this room. Now he's going to be over at red instead. I can't believe the control just keeps on switching without a frag being made by either players. The Hang had a chance for a long time to get a frag for himself, but Cypher for even longer time. Right now, the Hang and Cypher are 17 points of damage apart from each other. <laughs> What's the total damage? Uh, 1826 and 1819. Wow. There's not much between the Seven Lost Worlds, but yeah. unfortunately for Cypher, the Hang did take the two previous maps, meaning the Hang will be the overall winner, irrespective of the score here. But Cypher's looking for some points. He's been looking for something, for some uh, pride to save, basically, in this uh, in The this tone game. of this matchup is so different than the same oh, matchup a year We've ago. Got a massive nice. rocket there from the Hang. He's, He's extremely back. weak. He's probably going to go down. Cypher gets the kill with 100 collective health and armor right at the end. Can he get himself on items quickly? You can see the energy erupting out of Cypher right now. Now that he has that stack advantage, now that he has that frag advantage, all importantly, he knows that the tone of the game has already changed. That's but awesome. that means that the Hang has to react appropriately as well. I mean, we're not going to see the slow crawl much more anymore. Oh no, he's Cypher knows that move. war is coming. Something has to happen, and it's got to be from Dehang's De De hands that it happens. I'm going to go over to him now. And he's sitting on Plasma, waiting for shards. No shards for him. I think Cypher on the red again. He's not high-fiving one of his teammates yeah, after having two maps, so I'm not but sure. He wants shards. He's also looking he want, for Cypher to come Cypher up to the jump pad. That, that would definitely make life easier for him, but I don't think Cypher's going to make any... Uh, any crazy moves like that. Cypher goes towards Mega. This is very good rockets actually from Dehang, but wow. he can't quite get through the choke point. Dehang's going to have to back off. And coming up with the jump pad to put pressure on this red potentially. Whoa. Man, that rocket, that rocket alone could pot potentially save Cypher and keep him in the lead here for the final 30 seconds. That rocket. Uh, Cypher's going to move in. Dehang's got very good rockets actually. He's giving himself a chance right now. The LG, uh, Cypher, there's no reason that for you to be around here. There's no 50 health level that the hang is in desperate need of. He's going to go for the red armor, and then he's going to have, what, 10 seconds to chase? Yep. 
And then Cypher's the over there, he's putting oh, it to the side, Cypher. and that is going to be 1-0, surely. Cypher goes through the teleporter, three health left for Dahang, make it none, 2-0 for the Belarusian. But it's still a 2-1 series victory for Dahang. So different than last year. Yeah, so different that was a, an intense matchup, though. Everyone lost well. You can tell it's all the, the mind bullets that are being fired at each mind other and bullets. deflected. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're really having to think hard There's about the their position. There's the ethereal game being played above that one. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're calculating the ammunition, the health, they're talking about the time, the items themselves. They've, the players don't see the timers. That's all the stuff that we see. There's so much to think about there. And uh, I think Dahang really wanted to win that map because that would have at least given him a chance to, uh, an additional chance to maybe secure the championship if Tox were to slip up. So right. that might... His extra uh, two points would have been nice. Yeah, yeah. that might... Uh, well, extra one point. Yeah, He yeah. gets four points, but I don't know if that's going to be enough for Dahang to have won the championship uh, for his team. But we'll have to see how things uh, roll out in the next couple of games uh, in order to fully clarify that. Because I know he's not very many points behind uh, yeah, Tox yeah. at all. And right now, ahead of Tox, uh, it's just... Is Tox going to lose any maps to Zorak War? That's really the main uh, calculations uh, we're trying to uncover. The, there's, the there's metal at stake in this game. There's money at stake in this mm -hmm. game. Um, the other three MD guys and Tox have done a fantastic job over yep. the uh, the previous three days, mm -hmm. but unfortunately for Tox's performance today might cost them everything, and Zorak is potentially the guy to take it away from him. Yeah. So th the thing is, though, because I'm just looking at uh, the brackets quickly on your, your monitor, uh, we've got uh, Evil versus Rafa is going to happen later on after mm -hmm. Tox versus Zorak. So if Evil gets a 3-0 over Rafa, does that mean that we might have Evil to hang the grand finals tonight? Because I think, though, if uh, Rafa yes. beats Evil, then I will still be scratching my head. So I'm not sure about that yet. But I'm pretty sure if, uh, if Evil wins over, then the hang still has acquired enough points to possibly be um, in second place still. Yeah. So we could be s still seeing the hang. There are a lot of uh, situations where on. break could actually take away the trimaster yeah. trophy. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, guys, is going to take a quick break and we'll come back, do some calculations and let you know more of what's going on. Next matchup is going to be Tox versus Zorak War. We'll see you in just a moment. <laughs> 